live at San Diego Comic-Con. One of the biggest things going on this year is Marvel's giant huge panel letting us know what's happening post-Endgame. It is going on literally right now in Hall H. We have some people over there who are sending us information rapidly as it's coming out, and we are here we are to unpack it. Yeah. Uh, so they're talking Eternals right now. Let's talk about that. As you were saying, the Eternals cast is up there right now. So we're hearing from Kumail Nanjiani, um, Angelina Jolie, Salma Hayek. Mm -hmm. um, some people believe that Angelina Jolie was going to be Cersei, but it appears that she's Thena. Mm -hmm. So some major announcements coming down. So really exciting stuff. So they said and November 6, 2020, I think, is the new date. Exactly. I feel like this is definitely a deeper cut one. This is, yeah. this is you know, what, like mid-70s Jack Kirby. They're yes. saying it's full Jack Kirby, which is going to look... I feel like very Thor Ragnarok. Mm -hmm. like, That's I'm into that. Happy to hear that. They say it's a group of celestials who must protect people against the deviants. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of Marvel. This is like totally just. This is like off the beaten path for me. So it's totally new. Me and too. But I love the cast. Yeah. yeah. They also the have, cast. they also have yeah. what Richard Madden, mm -hmm. Rob Stark. Yes. Yeah. yes. He's great. I mean, I went into Garden to the Galaxy being like, I don't know the source material here, which is kind of yeah. awesome because they can go anywhere with it. And my like nerd fanboy thing doesn't go like, you got it wrong. Yeah. I just enjoy it for what it is. Yeah. Um, so I'm excited to do that again with this. Yeah, it's a new characters, new settings. And obviously tons of people love Thanos. Uh, Thanos, his parents were uh, actually, mm -hmm. They were Eternals, and he had the deviant gene. So I think, you know, a lot of people love Thanos. So I could get into the Eternals, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think that also it's a really smart choice. I know we were saying that there will be a project before we see the Eternals, but just that they're starting off phase four in this. We're familiar, but it's a new territory, and it really does mark this as a new set of, like a new phase officially. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't feel too familiar, which I'm excited about, because I was curious how they were going to do this transition. The last 11 years is the Infinity Saga. The fact that that is, what, like 20, 23 movies or something, all capped together, and they're like, that's one saga. Yeah. What next? Like, are we, is this yeah. going to take us through until... five more movies. Like, <laughs> is this going to last until phase eight? Like, is it a, like, how many, like, this how many... Is going to last for the rest of our lives and well, our children's lives and their lives? Yeah, so I don't that. think This continuing storyline will never end. I wonder if, like, hot off of kind of, of spending that long kind of building this up and really accustoming us to this, the, the cadence of these movies coming out and these, these projects, uh, if they're going to maybe have, a, like, almost a quicker turnaround with, like, another big boss fight. Um, clearly, there's like a lot of stuff happening. Like ten to, to be like the next two years here are ten projects. This is one phase. I'm very curious to see what sort of the culmination of that phase is and what it's going to be building towards. Uh, I mean, are we going to get like one new big bad like Thanos, who's like slowly being set up over the next decade, or is it well, going to be? They also didn't specifically s state that the, the, the entire phase is going to take place over these two years, right? The next two years are dedicated to this phase. This could be a decade. <laughs> this could we could spend eleven years building up to the next big bad and then killing him. 